I want to show you how I have some of my automations set up. Like a lot of people, I have automations that are triggered at specific times of the day. For example, our vacuum runs every day. Certain lights, like the outdoor lights, turn on and off at sunset and sunrise and so on. The easiest way is to split these automations into two, one for turning the light on and one for turning it off. But I like to use trigger IDs for these automations so that I can run both the on and off automation inside one automation in Home Assistant and that way have less clutter in the UI. In my dashboard, I would also like to be able to turn these automations off so that they don't run if we're away for a weekend. You could of course just toggle the automation in the settings page, but what happens if you do that while a light is on? The light will stay on while you're away and won't turn off again until you activate the automation. In this video, I'll show you how I have my automation set up so I can toggle them individually or with a main switch from my dashboard and at the same time keep the UI as clutter-free as possible. Let's start a new blank automation. First, I add two sun triggers, one for sunrise and one for sunset. I'll then add a trigger ID to each one. It's important to make these descriptive and unique. Then in the action section, I'll add a choose action. Then I add a triggered by condition to the first option and select the sunset trigger ID. I then open a new tab and go to devices and services, helpers. Here I create a new input Boolean helper specific to this automation. In this case, I just name it Tutorial Enabled, but you should probably give it a better name. We can then go back to the automation and create a second condition for the first option. This time I use an Entity condition and select our helper and the on state. Note that I only add this helper condition to the first option where the light turns on. We can then add the action for this first option. In this example, I'm just gonna turn on an outdoor lamp. So, to summarize so far, the automation triggers at sunset and sunrise, but because of the conditions, the first option only triggers at sunset and if the helper is turned on. So what I like to do now is just duplicate this whole first option. I can then just change the trigger ID to sunrise and delete the entity helper, because I would still like the automation to turn the light off if I disable the automation, especially if it's an indoor lamp. Then I just change the action to turn off the lamp as well. And that's it for the automation. This is just a very basic example of what is possible with trigger IDs. Now I want to integrate this into my dashboard so I can enable or disable the turning on lamp part of this automation. This is my current desktop dashboard. I'm still working on it. As you can see, I'm still in the middle of fixing a bunch of stuff. I'm using bubble card and one of my pop-ups is a settings page where I can turn on and off a bunch of automations. I'm not going to go into detail about how to create this particular card. I have other videos about that. Previously, I have, for example, showed how to create one of these big toggle buttons. But let me know if you want me to make a video about the smaller version as well. I have converted the card into a button card template, so it's easy for me to add more. You can see that I'm adding the Boolean helper as the entity on the card. And when I set the tap action of the card to toggle, it toggles the helper on and off and at the same time enabling and disabling the turning on part of the automation. And here you can see how it looks in action. Pretty simple, but very effective compared to manually turning off automations in the settings page. Last thing I want to show is how to create that main big switch. We call it the holiday mode. When turning on the holiday mode, all other automations gets disabled. It also enables a few other things around the house. Like the other automations, the holiday mode has its own input Boolean helper. I also have an automation called holiday mode. Here I have two triggers, similar to the other automation I showed. But this has triggers for when the helper turns on and off. Each trigger has a unique trigger ID. In the action section, I again use a choose action with two options. One triggered by the helper turning on, and one option triggers when the helper turns off. When holiday mode turns on, it turns off all the other Boolean helpers. It also turns on a really cool hacks integration called Present Simulation. This integration records how you usually use your lights and devices on a daily basis and can simulate you being home by automatically turning on and off devices similar to how you usually use them. I'm also working on integrating my alarm system with this holiday mode. For example, we get notifications if our doors are open for five minutes, but I want to get these notifications straight away if holiday mode is on. If anyone has any other ideas and tips, let me know in the comments. Lastly, the second option, turning holiday mode off, turns on all the other automations and turns off the present simulation integration. 
And that's it for this video. Of course, a lot of my automations are just running in the background, and I never have to interact with them, but it's really nice to be able to turn some of them off. I don't think you can fully automate everything all the time and some interactions will always be necessary. I hope you learned something from this. Thanks for watching. Until next time.